The trick I'm about to show you doesn't work for narrative films. It's not supposed to be used this way. The pacing there is crucial for building drama and tension. But the trick I'm about to show you works for the most type of talking head videos like this, like what you can see on YouTube. The truth is that we are able to watch much faster edits than our parents. It's just the way it is. The attention span of a general audience has fallen down significantly and there is no going back. If we're watching something for information, we want it to be delivered quickly. A lot of people watch YouTube videos at 150% speed by default. We also speed up podcasts and the rest of audiovisual stuff we consume. You know, the thing is that faster delivery very often produces the feeling of authority from a presenter. We just feel like that guy or gal really knows what they're talking about. And we have to take advantage of that when we're editing our videos. First and foremost, it has to do with the way we edit the pieces together. Basically how tight the edits are and how they transition from one another. Quite often you can take a dry delivery and tell turn it into energetic performance with editing alone. But the cherry on top and the trick I'm about to show you is speeding up the final export by a few percent. You can do it in all major analysts. In Premiere Pro I just use the effects tab in the export media window. I activate time tuner and change the duration parameter to minus 4%. Obviously you could test different values, that's just what I use for some of my YouTube videos. This method preserves audio pitch very well, you can't really tell there is anything wrong. I know a YouTube creator who does it for every video and no one ever noticed. Because it's a subtle change, it's really just on a subconscious level. The viewers don't know that the speed has been altered, they just feel that the delivery, the performance is good. Give it a go, don't worry that the viewer won't be able to follow the information, they can rewind if they have to, but most often there is no such need.